I'm the Elsa Pony here today, and today we will be doing more Five Nights at Freddy's Customs. Yesterday I didn't have a chance to do a video, and Saturday and Sunday I won't have a chance to either. So we're doing five customs today, and we're going to start off with the Barbianette, which is my version of the marionette with actual strings on her hand, so she will actually look like a puppet this time. I didn't want to make her ugly like the marionette. No offense to those people who actually like the marionette from Five Nights at Freddy's. But, you know, this one you can actually play with her. You can actually make her move like a puppet. You can make her wave and all that kind of stuff, you know. So, that's the Barbionette. And today we will be creating, as one of them, Bonnie! Which I already have in a purple outfit. You know, you can also put purple pants or shirts, you know, whatever you want to do that's purple. These cute purple high heels, and to make the ears, I'm going to be using this purple string here. And this is where things get a little bit more detailed. Uh, what you have to do is you're going to have to do a loop like this. Well, a smaller-ish loop. Another loop like this. No, a little bit smaller because it depends on how much string you have. You need to pay. Whoops. You need to play, pay. Uh, you have to pay close attention to what you're doing, or else you can't get it right. And then you're gonna do like a loop around it. See, like you're gonna make the two bunny ears, and you're just gonna wrap it around. And then you're gonna hold your thumb there, and you're gonna just. This might be complicating for some of you, but hopefully you'll get it. And then you're just gonna pull it, like, you're gonna basically tie the bunny ears in a little circle. Then you're gonna pull it tight, creating the basic shape of the bunny ears. And then you're gonna put it on the head, and then you're just gonna tie it on with the excess ribbon. Whoops. And I put her, and you kinda have to put the person's, well, in this case, the doll's hair in a ponytail for this one. Cause, yeah. Or else you really can't put on the bunny ears. Unless you want to, like, put it on a headband or something like that. But I don't know. I didn't think that would look good unless I had a bunny headband. Whoops. Hold on. Almost got it. And then you can just, you know, adjust the ears to whatever way you want. And then, whoops, they're kind of falling a little bit. But that's what I'm going to keep it as for now. And then you have your bunny ears. And, of course, Bonnie is one of those characters that has a bow tie. So, what you're going to want to do is you're going to, well, do a bow tie. And I use an extra long string. Well, in this case, a piece of uh, yarnish string. And I'm going to do a small bow tie with it. Like this. Hopefully you all know how to. Because if you don't know how to do a bow tie, this can be really complicating. And you have to try to make it proportional to the correct size. And then what you're going to do is just... Oops, don't want to cut her hair. Snip. <laughs> and you're just going to cut it just like that. And then you're going to have your big Bonnie bow tie. <laughs> and, of course, Bonnie. The key thing that Bonnie has, you probably all got this by now, but... Oops, hold on, her ears are coming off. Why are her ears coming off? No! Hold on. I think I made the string a little bit too small. See, that's why, this is, a, this is a good fact for everyone, you have to make the string big. It's her hair, it's getting stuck in it. Okay, I'm gonna keep it like that, and if it falls off, I'm just gonna put it on later. So, now, there we go. And then, of course, Bonnie has a guitar. So I got him this one. I'm just gonna wrap that around it. here and there we go then I can have her hold the guitar there we go and Bonnie is all set and I'm gonna lay her over here with Chica and for Chica's bib it started tearing which I figured that was a problem so instead oops uh, I didn't put on the cupcake either I didn't have time to do that so I made it out of elastic I thought it looked kind of better and yeah so now we're gonna co wait let me put the marionette here sorry I have to have the whole gang together. The only person I didn't have time to make yet was Freddy, because I haven't had time to make her hat. Uh, now, here we have my version of Balloon Girl. So I put her hair into pigtails, because I thought it looked pretty cute. 
And this doll has articulation on her left... Yeah, her left arm. To you, it probably looks like the right right now. <laughs> so, I made for her the balloon sign and the balloon, which I will use tape later to secure on her. So, let's put her over here, too. I'm gonna leave her lying down. And now, this one is one of my favorites. Foxy. Whoops. That's not supposed to stick on there. I gave Foxy, because she's supposed to be a pirate, so I gave her a nice, you know, baggy clothes, nothing too tight, and these cool pirate-looking boots. <laughs> now, what I did for the tail, this one was one of the good things I made up. I opened like this, and I put Velcro on the made on tail I made, which you can easily make up whatever way you want, and I stuck it on like this. I put the soft Velcro and the very hard Velcro on both sides. And then I had the tail. For those of you who got what that was, did you guys get it? It's like a hard, a hard Velcro, like the one, like this, and then the soft one, and then I just glue it to the opposite side. Really basic to make. And then, for the ears, I had this, like, cat headband, and it actually ended up looking like a fox one. And for her pirate hook, uh, I made kind of a glove. I grabbed a piece of paper, I cut it out, but I kept the fold. So I folded the paper and cut it out, and then I drew on the hook on both sides. And then I used tape. I don't know if you can see the little glare of tape here, but I used tape to keep it in. And it made kind of like a little glove, so all I had to do was grab her hand and just slide it. Hold on. Slide it in there, and voila, I have the foxy hook. And I thought that looked really cool. And last but not least, Foxy's eye patch. That one was really fun to make. All I had to do was, so I grabbed a piece of paper like this, painted it black, and cut out the shape of an eye patch. And then I attached some elastic to it to make the simple, basic foxy eye patch. And then I like pulling up her pants like just a little bit like that, so she looks more like a pirate. And, yeah. Have our little foxy. Let's put her over here with the rest of the gang. Over here. Over here looks good. And now I managed to make the purple guy, or in this case, the purple girl, which is really the easiest one to do. And I chose this doll because she has, like, I can, like, throw the hair over her face so she looks, like, sneakier. And I have this little doll knife, so I just put it into her, like, shoe like this. See? So, you know, when, for those of you who have watched Five Nights at Freddy's, when she kills the five children, boom. She's ready. <laughs> I don't know what I'll do for a short for that, but I'm gonna think of something. And I gave her, like, this cute heart necklace. If I had a heart that was broken in half, that would look even better, you know, because the purple guy doesn't seem like the nicest person in the world. So, there you have it, guys. That's my Five Nights at Freddy's custom... F cu uh, excuse me? Customs for today. Hope you all enjoyed. See you all next time.